Welcome to this episode of The Gentleman Short, and today we will be learning about how to connect simple external circuits to the Arduino. One of the main advantages of the Arduino is that it has I.O. headers which allow jumper wires to connect to circuits which could include amplifiers, beepers, logic, gates, counters, switches, and just about any circuit you can think of. However, you should exercise caution when doing so since these circuits may potentially damage the microcontroller. So before we go connecting the two together, we need to find out a few things to determine if we need to provide some protection circuitry. If the circuit will be providing signals to the Arduino, then we need to consider the maximum and minimum voltages coming from the circuit, the possibility of overcurrent and potential ESD sources such as human touch. If the circuit is being controlled by the Arduino, then we need to consider the maximum minimum voltage of the circuit, the power draw of the external circuit and current limiting requirements such as series resistors with LEDs. Methods that can fix these include clamping diodes, current limiting resistors and external DC power supplies. However, these points won't be looked into in any depth in this video as that would be an entire one hour lecture in its own right. So for now, you will have to read the article and use Google to find out more. Of course, you are here to learn about how to connect circuits to the Arduino. In this circuit, we will connect a tactile switch and an LED to the Arduino using pins two and three. The tactile switch uses a pull-up resistor so that when the switch is not being pressed, the Arduino will see five volts on pin two. When the button is pressed, the pin will be connected to ground through the switch and therefore the Arduino will see pin two as being zero volts. The LED is connected to pin three using a current limiting resistor, which prevents the LED from drawing too much current and then exploding albeit a very, very tiny one. When the Arduino turns on pin three, then the LED will turn on. And when the Arduino turns off pin three, then the LED will also turn off. With the circuit made and ready to go, it's time to code the microcontroller using the Arduino IDE. Go ahead and load the IDE, plug in the Arduino to the PC, find out what COM port the Arduino is on, and then configure the IDE to use that COM port. With that done, Copy the LED flash code into the IDE and then program the Arduino. Now we can go ahead and test the Arduino and push the button to see if the LED flashes. This example may seem simple, but being able to control external circuits and read from them is massive. Do exercise caution when connecting the circuits to the Arduino in case they destroy the board or get destroyed by it. But at the same time, don't fear to mess around with the Arduino and circuits. So thank you for watching this episode and see you next time.